I honestly can say I'm really surprised at how normal my vagina looks. <laughs> I feel like one of the fears in women is their, their nunny. Yeah. Their nunny not going back to normal or like stretching or tearing. And did you have that? You know what it is? I honestly can say I'm really surprised at how normal my vagina looks. <laughs> is it the same? I love that. Well, I remember I looked at it, like I probably wouldn't recommend this, but I looked at it like, I think like three days after. And it was like, it was a bit scary when I looked at it that what early. Was it like? Just a bit like messed up is it <laughs> and i was like oh my god but then just over time it just it just slowly went yeah. back to normal See, this like, is the thing it's time and we time. don't give ourselves you time you don't give yourself it genuinely like right now when i look at my nunny it's exactly the same yeah. to look at i know there's never a right time for these sorts of things and obviously it changes from person to person but yeah when do you have sex after having the baby well, they said to wait six weeks, so I did. I didn't know it was the same, because with C-section, is six weeks. Yeah, but it's like, you, it, that honestly, you're just so nervous. Is it weird? Like It was a bit weird. I wouldn't say it felt the same that first time. No. It felt obviously slightly different. Did it really? hurt? Or? Didn't hurt, no. Nah, not at all. But I just started doing, like, my... Is it your Kegel exercises? Yeah, like, I can do yeah. now. What's like, that when you, like, like, bend and stuff? Yeah, like, like I'm doing them right it. now. Tension. Really? Yeah, just to like make, because yeah. obviously it's, you've, you've just pushed a baby out of it. It's not mm. going to snap back yeah. instantly. I always ask Casey this, I'm like, is it the same? Is, is he is just it? being and polite? He, and, he's like, <laughs> and he's like, I can't remember. He's like, maybe it's a little bit looser. Like, <laughs> a it? little bit, but like. But nothing major. But he's still. still Alex has such it. a big willy. I'm just hoping that it will be is fine. It? I'm dead. <laughs> obviously, like, body image is such a big thing after mm. having a baby like bouncing back is like a thing yeah and it has become so prominent on social media how did you feel towards your body after? do you know what 100 percent that was to do with it mm. but it's mad i look like i look back right to photos after i had winter i was tiny mm. and in my head i was seeing something different yeah. Yeah. three months after giving birth to winter i felt that low I flew off to Turkey to get surgery. Yeah. Like, that's so bad. Like, I would never allow myself to do no. that again. So I think, like, it's easy to just, like, judge yourself after having a baby. But my advice to you is sit back, relax. Like, everything ends up going back to how it used to be. Like, give you know yourself I mean? time. Give to... yourself time to heal. I, I've always worried about, like, what my body would look like after. That's I know that's so, like, it's just, it's, it's so silly. It's not important. But as a woman and, like, the the way we live now with everyone comparing themselves online mm. and you have women bouncing back, having like literally have abs like f like two weeks later. Yeah, it's you compare crazy. yourself and yeah. I can't help but worry about what I'm going to look like after. And I really don't want to. And yeah. I always tell other women, it doesn't matter. But... I feel like all women feel like that though mm. when they're pregnant. Do you know what I mean? So don't feel just like... Give yeah. yourself, just don't give you. yourself time. And I don't, I don't think people should. I don't think people should worry. It's literally the least of your worries. Yeah. Like, like even now with stretch marks, I'm like, oh my God, like I'd be so upset if my whole stomach was covered in stretch marks. But do you know um, what though? I actually love stretch marks. Do you? Yeah. Really? I really like, I don't know why. I have like, I have them on my bum and I just think, I don't know, I really do like you? them. So when I see a woman with stretch marks, I just Lo I think it's attractive. It's like womanly. Yeah, isn't I love it? it. I'm like, I was yeah. cellulite. I love cellulite. I isn't love the look really? of it. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, I hate my cellulite. I'm like, I love mine. Like, honestly. <laughs> but that's so good, and that's how yeah. we should be being. Yeah. Like, we should be appreciating that. Like, you've literally grown a human from yeah. scratch. <laughs> Does any of your partners massage your belly? I oh, no, not... I said to him the other day, I said, I keep on seeing men massaging <laughs> um, the pregnant woman's belly on TikTok. I said, you want to massage mine once. You need to do it. Yeah. Yeah, but when Katie dies, I'm like, get off! <laughs> <Is> it... <laughs> I'm like, don't touch me! <laughs> How do you think yours and Alex's relationship will change now the baby's going to come? I don't know. This, come... is, this is what I wanted to like ask you guys, because me and Alex have been together six years, just mm -hmm. us two. It's literally just been us yeah. two. We just yeah. do what we want, and then this baby comes into it does it change um i feel like me and casey had a really tough time with that like he had a, i think he had a little bit of like postnatal yeah. a little or, bit was you arguing or no no it was just a, such a surreal time like he, he was only 24 he's three years yeah. younger than me i think it was just like a big shock mm. like a big shock like you said it's just used to you just got to support each other instead of try, like being at each other's i'm doors. so impatient so that's what i'm like concerned about because i'm yeah. so like I'm quite irritable and I can be so impatient. Mm -hmm. How are you with no sleep? <laughs> <laughs>
it's are good you talking? You, you'll be like each other's support system. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's how do you feel like you're going to quite, like, in this relationship, with, like, how is he going to be with being a dad, do you think? You know what? I've watched him kind of be a dad to Winter, which is, yeah. like... Nice. So I, I've always known, like, yeah, I want to... I want to have a child with him. Yeah. You look at them differently. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, it's a different life, isn't it? The, yeah, mm. you yeah. look at him like the father of your child yeah. and it becomes yeah. something so different. different. Did you find that you did struggle with your mental health afterwards? Yeah, I did. And I just thought, you know, what I was feeling was just, I don't know, I was just feeling like sad, like yeah. angry, anxious. I just didn't think it was that. But now I look back and I'm like, oh my God, I was yeah. definitely suffered with it. And I feel like no one talks about this part. Yeah. And this is, I wasn't really prepared for it at all because people just talk about the amazing love that you feel yeah. and no one talks about that weird like feeling that you get. And it's it, like a it, cloud over your head. It's not very nice. It's and it's also the, the boy gets it as well. And I think people forget about the boy as well. Like, yeah. yeah, and I, you never hear of it, but yeah, boys people, get it. People obviously, there is postnatal depression, which can be so horrific. Yeah. yeah. Like my mum suffered from it with me. So I think for me, like I have this fear that mm -hmm. even though I feel really put together now, after I'm just going to lose the plot. Yeah. And it, it's scary. Do you know what it is? It's just such a change to your, your body, mm. your your mind, like just everything. Like just remember when you feel like that, it's not gonna last. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's all you gotta remember. So, yeah.